today's lesson is gonna be about how to play swing but not how to play more swinging how to play swing music the style of swing the music that used to be played around the 20s in the Chicago in, and New York if I'm not mistaken one thing is how to play the rhythm correctly and I've been doing it incorrectly and I've been corrected by a few people and this feels when you do it try to feel how it should be done so a lot of people when they play swing they play two and four on the on the whole, on the whole guitar and one and three just on the bass kind of a unza unza kind of thing <laughs> So let's take uh, all of me for the, for instance. So a lot of people would think that this would be the right way to play swing rhythm guitar. But the thing is, you don't play one, two, three, four. This is putting too much accent on the 2 and 4. 2 and 4 will be accented by the nature of the style. You need to give the, f the 4 beats, the quarter notes, and that's a swing. A swing feel, and ask any dancer, is feeling the 4 beats, the big 4, feeling it very strongly. So if you play Old Me, you don't want to play the 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. You want to play the whole four. And even if it's very, very quick, let's say uh, playing rhythm changes, I got rhythm. So that will be the incorrect way, and correct will be... And again, this tempo won't be very good for dancers, but you feel that I'm swinging much more than playing... Gives a lot of... Gives a better feel of the big bend feel much more big bendy than this no, don't do that so that's the first thing another thing is what to play and the key here is keep it simple not only keep it simple rhythmically playing only quarter notes keep it simple in the terms of what to use in the chord so all kind of very modern jazzy chords like uh, stack of four that's really won't happen or all kind of chords with the the, the, the semitone or tone that's not a very swinging sound you want to keep your chords simple and simple sounding and for a guitar player you want to keep the shapes of the chord simple as well you don't want to you don't want to use all kind of shapes that you won't be able to move fast a lot of times we're playing quarter notes and we're playing one chord per beat just to get some movement so you, you don't want to have too much stretchy chords you want fast chords and simple again this used to be music that people wanted to dance it couldn't be too complex in the terms of tension and it had to be clear when i'm playing very sophisticated chords it makes the t the chord unclear especially if it if i'm 
moving very quickly through the chord. So if I'm playing the A minor chord and I want to have some movement, instead of playing like one, two, three, four, and I'll get through that movement in a second. One, two, three, four. So that would be much more swinging than playing. Yeah, that. doesn't sound very swinging and you feel that I need to do some other rhythmic stuff just to get the chord to fit in the in a jazzy or in in time with something so so again and if you work on that it probably would be easier to easier to play it in time and in quarters but again I don't recommend doing all kind of fancy chords use the simplest chords and it will help the people that play melody on top of you and play solo over you to hear the harmony clearer you're giving the harmony and and the beat so keep the chord simple don't use too much substitutions and don't use too many tensions in the chords. It's just not in the style. The tensions that you would want to use is sometimes the six instead of major seven. The six chord is much more popular and much more swinging. So if you play all of me. <laughs> that I did it didn't sound very swinging but again so this is with the C major 7 if I'm switching instead of C7 playing C6 much more swinging for me you could use major 7 but using the flat 13 flat 9 all kinds of augmented chords unless it's specifically in the arrangement don't do that and again I'm not talking on big band music when you're playing in big band I'm talking about when you're playing in a swing trying to play as traditional as, it, as you can so that's about what tensions to use. Another thing is the movement between chords and inside a chord. A lot of the swing era tunes won't have much changing uh, like giant step stuff to chords per, per bar unless it's a very medium slow tempo tune. You will have stuff like all of me that got <laughs> two bars of the same chord or blues that will have two bars, four bars of the same chord um, a lot of the tunes will have that you'll, you'll have that moment that you're playing the same chord so if you don't have any kind of movement just play the same shape don't move around don't, don't bother the other players you need to support the, the melody always support the melody so the way to do it is by playing a simple chord and not not playing any games. It's not about you, it's about the keeping the rhythm simple, clear and supporting the melody. So again, all of me, I would prefer someone playing in a swing setting behind me playing this. trying to play some fancy stuff so it won't necessarily be in groove with the drummer and bass player but 
Another thing that you, you should practice is moving from one shape of the chord, one inversion to the next. So if this is C6, we're going from C, D minor, D sharp diminished, into the C, the second inversion of C6, which is basically A minor 7. Again. So I'm playing C6, which is 3. I'm starting on the 5th string, going to the 2nd string. 3, 5, 2, 5, D minor. 5, 7, 5, 6, D sharp diminished. 6, 7, 5, 7. And the C. Six inverted is seven seven five eight, and it gives you the nice melody. And you can go the other way as well. And it's something you would hear on a on a swing guitar play. One two. Three. very swingy it gives the direction and it's of uh, the melody and gives uh, it's more leading to the next chord and it supports the bass line yeah and you could do twice on each chord Finding all kinds of movement between um, the inversions of one chord will really help you have a more interesting and swinging uh, rhythm playing.